Witnessing the seven wonders of the new world is a popular goal found on people's bucket lists. The reason for this is how spectacular these sites are. I personally marvel at the perfection of each wonder of the new world. Each wonder is masterfully produced down to the last detail. I know when I am able to stand in front of each of these wonders, I will be awestruck by the beauty of each wonder. The seven wonders of both the new and old world are amazing. I would like to witness the seven new wonders of the world over the old wonders because I believe the new wonders are more impressive. Something about the new wonders intrigues me. I can be fascinated for hours just looking at pictures of these wonders. I cannot imagine actually witnessing these wonders in person. The next thing on my bucket list is to play soccer in college. Soccer has been a passion of mine since I was little. In my mind, there's nothing better than being able to play soccer on a warm summer day. I love soccer so much that I actually enjoy the hard days of fitness and training that come with playing on the team. To be able to play soccer in college is a dream come true. The talent at the college level is hard to come by across the United States. In high school, there is a wide range of talent on every team. This is not the case in college. In college, just about everyone on the team is at the same level, which makes every game close and exciting. Also, my closest friends have come from playing on the same soccer team as me. I look forward to making some new friends while playing in college. Becoming a doctor is one of the most challenging experiences in the academic world. To become a doctor, four years of undergraduate schooling is necessary, along with the completion of prerequisites for medical school. Upon graduation, four years of medical school is needed. After medical school, doctors begin residency, where they practice their skills and many times specialize in a specific field. Becoming a doctor is a goal that I've had for several years. I decided I wanted to become a doctor on a mission trip to Honduras. I discovered a passion for service on this trip and want to use my skills as a doctor to benefit those less fortunate than myself. I'm unsure what I will specialize in as of right now. Fortunately, I will get the chance to experience most of the fields available to doctors in medical school. No matter what I specialize in, I look forward to using my skills to help those around me. While this might seem a little weird to have on a bucket list, it truly is a goal of mine. I don't worry about this very much because I trust that God has a plan. I know that God already has someone picked out for me and that she will be put in my life when the right time comes. When I get married down the road, I hope to have a family. I look forward to being a father because I want to treat my kids the same way my dad treated me. My dad was always there for me no matter what. I hope to follow in his footsteps and be the best dad possible for my kids. Family is everything to me. I mean, if you don't have family members who love you, then who do you really have? That is why having a family of my own in the future is so important for me. Venice has always been at the top of my list for cities to visit. I absolutely love water and am fascinated by how the city takes full advantage of the canals. The buildings are literally built on the water. In addition, boats are used instead of cars. What better way to visit Venice than by taking a gondola ride through the waterways? I see people riding through Venice and gondolas all the time in the movies. One movie in particular, The Italian Job, really intrigued me. In the movie, there's a high-speed boat chase through the canals of Venice. Watching this scene really sparked my interest in Venice and its gondolas. Hang gliding has always been a dream of mine. I see people hang gliding all the time in the movies, and it looks like an absolute blast. I can't imagine how wonderful it would feel to have the wind blowing against your face as you soar through the sky. The thrill would be spectacular. If I were to hang glide, it would have to be in a warm, scenic location. I think the scenery is what makes hang gliding so amazing. Aside from a hot air balloon, hang gliding is unmatched in allowing me to view scenery from a high vantage point in such an open environment. While airplanes allow passengers to see views from above, it is hard to see the true scenery that hang gliding allows. Also, airplanes don't offer that 360 degree view that is available with hang gliding. Hang gliding is a thrilling experience and one that entices me. The next thing on my bucket list is to hike Mount Kilimanjaro. Hiking has been a hobby of mine for a long time. Hiking is part of the reason why I love Colorado so much. There are hundreds of hiking trails scattered around Colorado. None of these trails match the difficulty of hiking Mount Kilimanjaro. Summoning Kilimanjaro would be an amazing accomplishment for me. While I enjoy hiking, I've only hiked a couple of Colorado's 14ers. Hiking Kilimanjaro would be a difficult, yet rewarding challenge. One positive for Mount Kilimanjaro is there is not too much expertise needed to summit this mountain. Also, Mount Kilimanjaro does not reach the low temperatures of other world-class mountains. This is crucial, as I am neither a professional climber 
nor a fan of extreme temperatures. Two summers ago, I traveled to Honduras on a 10-day mission trip. During my time in Honduras, I discovered a passion for service. While I had participated in community service projects previously through church, scouts, and my school, completely dedicating 10 straight days of my life to others triggered a newfound interest in service. Because of this passion for service, I hope to travel around the world during mission work when I grow older. I'm planning on becoming a doctor and using these skills to benefit those less fortunate than me. I will be able to travel the world and help others in the process. It feels amazing to help others and not expect anything in return. It is truly one of the greatest feelings in the world for me. If I have it my way, I will go on so many mission trips over the course of my lifetime that I won't be able to count them. I have never been scuba diving before, but it has always been at the top of my bucket list. What better place to scuba dive for the first time than the Great Barrier Reef? It is the most dive spot in the world for a great reason. No place in the entire world has a larger quantity of fish and spectacular scenery. There are literally millions of organisms living in the Great Barrier Reef. Being a soon-to-be biology major, it fascinates me to think of seeing so many organisms and how they work together to survive. Just seeing the pictures of the Great Barrier Reef is unreal. I bet scuba diving in the reef is indescribable. I have snorkeled in many popular places across the world, but have never scuba dived. I know that scuba diving in the Great Barrier Reef is a memory that I will never forget. Skydiving is the ultimate thrill. Everyone I talk to says it is an experience that I should have at some point in my life. Even my parents tell me I should experience skydiving before I settle down and have kids. I've been told that you do not feel anything when you're skydiving. There isn't that feeling of your stomach dropping because your weight is distributed. It is as if the world slows down and you slow down with it. I want to experience this feeling and hope to do so in the future. In addition to the thrill, skydiving would make a great conversation starter. I know I would be really excited if someone came up to me and said, guess what I did last week? I went skydiving. I bet it would get the ladies too.